hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, once again bringing you my review for last night's season finale of Gotham, season three, episode twenty-one. Now, before we begin, I let you guys know: spoiler, heavy review. This is the season finale, so you've been warned. So, three, two, one. All right. So, we last left off the episode. The Jervis Tetch virus spread throughout Gotham, and basically in the beginning of this episode, chaos happened. Everybody was affected. Well, not really everybody was affected. A lot, like half the population of Gotham was pop was infected with the virus, and they were going psycho. It felt like Christmas and a, and a blackout all in one. A lot of people were throwing bottles, beating up people, killing people, robbing banks, people trying to get out, people trying to... Um, you know, steal, whatever. It, it was chaotic. And while that was happening, you have Jim Gordon, who's also been affected because he basically stuck a needle in his neck and did it to himself. <clears throat> and he's trying to basically fight it off. While doing that, he was trying to find um, Lee and also trying to find a way to basically help get a cure. Now, the only way they can get a cure for the virus was to get uh, Jervis Tetch's blood because he's the only one who can do the cure and also have Hugo Strange come up with an antidote. Sounds simple enough. While that was happening, you have Bruce Wayne basically becoming something he's never been. Basically becoming a, like a villain in a way. Because he was kind of brainwashed about the whole you know, you gotta put that, you know, your death parents out of their mind. You already got your vengeance. Move on. So you become a better person. So he decides that he needs to go see the head of the demon, the demons, which we all know is Ra's al Ghul. That's right, people. Ra's al Ghul has made his triumphant first appearance at Gotham. And I gotta say right off the bat, he even looked, he even looked the part. I mean, the actor, I had no idea his name was. He looked the part. He was only in for like five minutes, but still, or maybe a little shorter than that. And as soon as Bruce goes into this like weird Chinese, um, either a restaurant or a building, he goes in there, he meets the League of Assassins, he goes in there, he sees Ra's al Ghul, and basically Alfred follows him, he gets taken, captured, and Bruce kills him. Yes, you hear me that right, Bruce Wayne killed Alfred. Now, you would have thought, yeah, wait, Alfred can't die, of course not, he's not gonna die. We got to see the Lazarus Pit, the Lazarus Pit, Bruce took it, and saved his life. Because one day we all know that Bruce is going to end up training with the League of Assassins. But that's down the road. Maybe he, he will train with them in the next season. We don't know. But um, yeah, he basically comes to his senses. And he basically saved Alfred's life. So Alfred's back to normal. Well, in the hospital, but still normal as alive. Then we have Barbara and Tabitha and Butch. Now, Barbara... You know, everybody knew that Barbara was the, you know, the head queen of Gotham. Because, you know, Penguin was mayor at the time. And then he got, you know, taken away by, you know, Riddler. So, basically, to make it short, they fought. Barbara killed Butch, so we thought. And Tabitha killed Barbara. And I cried. I cried. But then we all know nobody really dies in this show. So, a lot of people think that she's going to become Harley Quinn in the next season. And, um... I... It's possible. It's possible. I mean, we already have Jerome, supposedly that that universe is Joker. It's so possible. Like I said, um, and we got to see some Bullock versus you know Gordon, you know, fight. That was cool. Um, what else? The the one thing I didn't like about this episode, the it's just small. I really wish Fish did more. She really didn't do much because Fish movie came back and played by, uh, Penelope, um. Uh, Jada Pickett Smith, excuse me. Um, she came back, and you know she's a good actress. She's 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 believable, but um, I really wish that they gave her more to do because she was just in it, and then she fought the League of Assassins, and then only to have James Gordon kill her. That's it. Yep. And then I guess um, the Riddler. I mean, he was captured, so he's kind of gone because he got tricked by um, you know. He got tricked by um, Penguin, who was using Firefly and, you know, 
Mr. Freeze or Mr. Fries, or whatever you want to call him. And, you know, they were on his side, obviously, pretending to be with fish, but they weren't. And, um, yeah, they basically put Nygma on ice. Literally, they froze the man. And now we got some really cool Easter eggs about Penguin building his, you know, his club. You know, the Iceberg Lounge, if you will. And I can't wait. That's going to be cool. Because you guys remember, Penguin is not really a psycho villain away, like he gets locked up in Arkham. He's basically a businessman who does bad businesses, you know, to be a, a mafia kind of thing. And, you know, he's always going to get locked up in prison. So, seeing the, getting to hear about the Iceberg Lounge and how he uses that as his operation to sell, oh yeah, he's doing good things, but yet, basically behind when doors are closed to the public, he's doing his bad thing, so that way Batman can know. So, that's cool. <laughs> it was pretty funny seeing Edward Nigma, a.k.a. the Riddler, frozen. That was cool. Um, we got to see Butch come back. Well, not really come back. He was kind of in the hospital with a bullet hole in his head. And we got to see here his real name. Um, I can't remember his real name, but um, in the comics, he is... In the real person he plays in the comics is Solomon Grundy. Now, Solomon Grundy is basically a good guy, bad guy, slash zombie. This guy would do anything for be higher or, you know, to get money for himself. And it's possible we can get him in the next season. We don't know. I mean, they treated this episode like it was a, the last season because they weren't sure the show was, the show was going to come back for a fourth season. So the ending felt like it was going to be its last. We saw Bruce Wayne being the vigilante that he is. Literally, he ended up being like how Bruce was in you know, Batman Begins. Ski masks and he was just on the rooftop but he had a trench coat on this time. So we got to see a little bit of him becoming what he's supposed to be. We all know he's supposed to be that guy. So, um, yeah, like I said, great episode, great action. I'm looking. For, I'm so glad to get another season. I was sad to see Barbara die, but I'm really hoping she does come back. I think she will come back. But um, yeah, it made me cry. But um, <laughs> um, Lee is gone. But like I said, she's gonna come back. She has to work out her things. She got turned back to normal thanks to Jim, who basically cured her and then cured himself she left town you know to clear her head and whatever so she'll come back probably not for a while but you know i think you know by that time when they do a new season she probably film some episodes and then she has to go do her deadpool stuff because she's in deadpool you should know that the actress um but yeah like i said great episode i'm really like this season overall maybe before the summer ends i will do a review for the entire season but, um, like I said, I really like the episode. I'm looking forward to season four and see where it goes from now. I mean, we got the League of Assassins now. Are they going to be the main villains for the next season? I hear Scarecrow could be coming back. The real Scarecrow, not not his father. You know, Jonathan Crane. Um, we could get Simon Grundy. Um, uh, Barbara King could become Harley Quinn. We don't know. We might get Jerome back. A lot of possibilities here. I mean, they got to work on it now because they're probably... The people who created it didn't know if this was going to come back or not. So, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode if you've seen it. And what are you looking forward to the most of next season? Me, personally, I'm looking forward to seeing more of uh, Penguin doing his thing. And, of course, seeing maybe the, um, the League of Assassins. I want to see what kind of part will they play in. And how will Jim and Bullock take on them. So, let's see what happens. Leave a comment below, let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.